green seems small. Oh, the same. By the University of Texas at Dallas, the tents have been deassembled. We are on public property protesting as identified in the notice by UTD. If you move forward, you will be sued and you will be acting illegally and unethically. Shame on you! 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 I'm a Christian um, Iranian. Um, I'm an American citizen, um, half Iranian, and the reason I support Israel is because Israel is ultimately the land of the Jews and God's people. And in the Bible, oh, man. in the Bible, it says that nations that bless Israel will be blessed, and nations that curse Israel will be cursed. And Israel so, is a Zionist state, not a Jewish state. And so, ultimately, ultimately, Jews, Jews know. have been oppressed on campus. I know one Jew in particular who oppressed has received. Kind of crazy. Have you not just seen what happened? One Jew on campus here has received over three death threats. Another Jewish girl has death had her threat. apartment vandalized. Almost 36,000 so, people have died in Gaza. And it's so, kind of crazy. ultimately, my ultimate goal as a Christian is that everyone knows Jesus Christ. Everyone here, um, obviously, I love Jesus Christ. obviously, I don't He's agree with the. Um, Born in Bethlehem, Palestine. So obviously, I don't up. agree with the Hamas movement here, right? Um, ultimately, though, Jesus Christ offers an opportunity for everyone to go to heaven, and that is a message I want to be known. That is an offer to the Jews and really anyone here. So this is about Israel, not not about religion. Keep and going. and so I saw you suck a guy off in the hey. restroom. Hey, can we please stop that? I swear I have video. This was very intense. Yeah. We didn't. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I would just like to state here that I believe currently that the current militarized presence of the police seems to be in violation of the First Amendment. I personally am someone who supports the American rights and American, uh, the American values that we have enshrined in the Constitution. And I think that any dissuasion of believing in a, being able to express these rights is a violation of that First Amendment. And as an American, I think that we as Americans should be able to discuss and explain our opinions, no matter what those opinions are. And we should not be threatened by police opinions. No matter what side you are, if you're a Republican, a Democrat, communist, you should be able to stand for what you believe and express it. I'm talking as an American. Okay, I'm talking about Egypt. Why so is it Egypt taking the minute? Saddam Hussein. Okay. So Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait in okay. the 90s. Okay, you're saying we're in my questions. I think, I think we're done. I, think we're done. Okay. I don't think we can have a discussion. We're no, uh, we're, we're done. done. We're 100% done. Okay. Okay. Could you explain why this is like being able to do this? I'm just wondering because I've been taught like about the First Amendment my entire life, right? And how we're always allowed to like congregate and discuss and like protest, right? Could you explain like why setting up an encampment was not? If not, it's okay. I just I'm just curious. No? Okay. The Jews are, are um, a people group, special to God, and they've been oppressed. And ultimately, as a Christian, it is biblical that I support Israel. I agree. Jews have been oppressed. That's why we should stand with the oppressed, not the oppressors. Not every Palestinian and a lot of Palestinians, they don't um, support Hamas. However, there's been an increasing, ever-growing moment, especially among movements like the Students for Justice Palestine, um, that where they say like violence is the answer. And so violence is not the answer. We are here peacefully. Come on, man, get it right. We're here peacefully, and the cops come here. Oh, to all the Jewish students on campus, I know it's a really hard time on campuses for you, and so I encourage you to um, note that um, I stand for you, there's people who stand for you, and to everyone else, Jews, Muslims, Arabs, and for Iranians, all the Palestinians, and Iranians, there, and Asians, all the Palestinians, do not touch me, and all the Palestinian supporters, we are with you and we will never give up. So like wherever they go, we come with greater numbers, because God is with us. So like I was saying, Most to all Jewish, Christian, together. Don't let the don't let them uh, think that we are split apart.
not every Palestinian is for Hamas, but a lot of them are supporting the violence, and they, so what turn, is your they, they turn a blind eye to the rapes Hamas has done, Whoa. to the um, burning of children, and they get paid. Um, Hamas terror are terrorists are the who get paid the for what where they the do. Proofs? Where are the videos? So, that's all I gotta ask. Where are the videos? Where are the proofs? You keep saying that they did this, they did that. You have no proof whatsoever. We say we accuse you of something as Palestinians, uh, 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 as uh, Israeli resistance have been uh, oppressing the Palestinians, raping women, killing babies, and we have proof of that. And we have also proof of you lying, saying that we have tunnels under Shifa Hospital. Where, Habibi? Resistance is justified. When people are occupied. When people are occupied. Resistance is justified. Resistance is justified. October 7th was not the beginning. The beginning was far, far back when the British uh, 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 occupied Palestine and gave it freely to the Zionist movement. Not Jews, the Zionist movement. I would just like to point out that while he said he doesn't believe in violence, he believed that wasn't the beginning. October 7th's attack was a brutal, horrible attack on Jews that where terrorists systematically... Died, soldiers. Now, do I condemn the civilians? Yes, I do condemn the civilians. Now, look at, now, now, look, now let us look at the battle. What's been happening, not a battle, sorry, a marathon and occupation has been happening for the Palestinians for so long, almost 75 years, my brother, 75 years since 1948. What do you have to say about that? What do you have to say about that? What do you have to say about the Jews, the, the, the Jewish Zionists attacking the Palestinians? Remember that the context of October 7th was a, a concert venue. There were people from all over the world, U.S. citizens, Thai citizens, German citizens, people all over the world, and a lot of Jews in the area. What Hamas did, they came and systematically were killing people, shooting people in the head, torturing people, raping women and girls, taking people hostage to this day that are still... Where's the proof of raping girls? Where's the proof? These people are... are there's, they're still hostages. And so my, 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 so, my ultimate response is this was a horrible horrific act which had to be met by force if anyone came into anyone's country and uh, systematically was raping people and burning and killing people, shooting them in the head, that would justify a response. And so my ultimate response is bring them home. To all the ethnicities, um, Arabs, Muslims, um, Christians, Jews, Palestinians, to all of them, Ultimately, Jesus Christ, which is the um, Son of God, He offers forgiveness to everyone for their Again, sins. We're all, religion. We're, all religion. we're all sinners, and for all of those oh, who wow. turn to Christ, everyone, then Jesus can forgive them. However, I encourage all of you out there to stand firm, to support your Jewish um, brothers and sisters, as well as your mother, your, your, the Muslim brothers and sisters who are going. suffering and uh, going through oppression currently. What about them, man? What about them? Uh, generally, what about the Muslims, Christians, and Jews? Like, there's barely any Jews in Gaza. So what about the Muslim Christians in Gaza right now? Tell me. Where's the body? Oh, there's the enforcer. Oh, there's the enforcer. Who go? The hostages? Let the hostages go. Okay, what about the, the hostages from the Israeli side who are being held and oppressed in the jail system of the Israeli? Tell me, huh? They, it's not fair that you say. The the Hold on. They, yeah. they offered to release the hostages more than a hundred times by now. Okay, Israel does not want those hostages. What about the Palestinian hostages? So ultimately, my why message is to a lot of people are, are really uneducated in that um, Hamas, Hamas has rejected multiple hostage deals. You failed your body. Who failed your body? You failed your body. It's crazy. The only answer is school. When there's no active threat, peaceful protests, they come in. UTD, open your eyes! UTD, open your eyes! People are going through genocide in Palestine, you know that? Israel is standing so many bombs, and guess what? There's a protest in Tel Aviv against Netanyahu. Why? Because Netanyahu is doing such a bad job in the war. Did you know that? Okay, you support Israel still? Oh, that kind of sucks. You should read about 14, uh, 1948. <laughs> Free Palestine. Free Palestine.
Yeah.